Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I'm Gids and today we're going to be heading to Harvey Nichols to check out some fragrances and a few other bits as well. But it's a beautiful day in London and we're currently now in Hyde Park. This is known as a serpentine lake where you can do boating and yeah it's just it's really beautiful and very relaxing to be here so we're going to be making our way on foot it's not too far from here so we're going to be walking there shortly but yeah i just thought i would share um the serpentine lake with you guys because it's a lovely day So this, what we're looking at now, is the Albert Memorial, which is just by the Royal Albert Hall in Kensington Gardens, London. And this was commissioned by Queen Victoria um, in memory of her husband, Prince Albert, who died in 1861. And it's just by the Royal Albert Hall, which we're gonna come to in just a moment. So this is a really nice route to get to Knightsbridge. I love walking past these beautiful white townhouses on the left. And often you will see like some fashion bloggers taking their pictures for Instagram all around this area. It's very popular for that. So we've just arrived at Harvey Nichols and the first line of fragrances we're sampling are from the house of Erin. Um, Erin Lauder is actually the granddaughter of Estee Lauder and the brand is all about simplicity and effortless elegance. So the fragrances that stood out to me, there were a few. Um, the first one was Amber Musk, which is their bestseller. This is described as a creamy amber musk type of fragrance with this sort of warm creamy coconut accord against the warm sandalwood base. Really, really nice. There was another one which was Mediterranean Honeysuckle. This is more of a lovely fresh fragrance which has notes of honeysuckle, grapefruit, mandarin oil, lily of the valley, gardenia and jasmine. And it kind of gives more of a beautiful fresh summery vibe really really nice and these gold bottles at the front is from the door collection and they're more intense fragrances and the one that i really liked from this uh, intense range was a one called tange vanille which is a very warm uh, beautiful vanilla fragrance with bergamot rose and sandalwood which i find really rich warm and very very inviting when I met her, yeah. no, 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 I, I won a thing with work, so I oh. went to New York and she came to one of her dinners. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, so that's lovely. But she does come to store, she's very yeah. um, proactive about seeing yeah. how the, the brand's going. Yeah, true, I get that. So now we're at Mimo Paris and we're checking out this niche house. So the ethos behind their brand and their fragrances is all about celebrating different parts of the world and therefore recreating a sensory world steeped in emotion. We were also really lucky because we had the nicest associate who really took her time to go through every fragrance that she thought we would like 
and just really took her time to like explain the concept of the brand and go through each fragrance. So this collection that you're looking at now is called the Flying Collection. And again, it celebrates different parts of the world. So you have Paris, London, Siberia. I really liked London Tweed. It kind of has this spicy yet fresh vibe to it, which is really, really nice. Currently, I believe these fragrances are exclusive to Harvey Nichols, but they will eventually be available everywhere else. So the fragrances that I really enjoyed from this range, um, Marfa, a bright fresh fragrance with orange blossom, tuberose and white musk. Also Irish leather with juniper berry, um, green mate, which I think is a type of tea, which makes it slightly herbal against a subtle oud note in the base. African leather, of course, which is a very, very popular fragrance with cardamom, geranium, saffron and leather, which makes it warm yet really spicy and leathery, really, really nicely blended. Another stunning fragrance that I discovered from this collection was one called Lalibella. This is a vanilla prominent fragrance with some Rose Absolute, Jasmine Accord, Patchouli, Incense, Coconut and of course Vanilla. This fragrance was stunning. So now we're at Hermetica and this is a sister brand to Memo Paris. Now these fragrances are completely alcohol free. They use a unique patented technology which blends both natural ingredients and synthetic molecules. So they are cruelty free and very gentle on the skin. Um, they're made from recycled glass and they are all refillable as well. So the fragrances I really liked from the Hermetica line, the first one was Vertical Oud. This is a fragrance that has Rose de Mai, Saffron and Oud. It also has some leather molecules and raspberry, which give it more of a fruity feel. The next one I liked as well was Dark Oud. This is more of a spicy yet fresh rose-based oud with some saffron molecules, myrrh and cardamom. Really like that one. And one called Jade 888, which is more of a spicy fresh green floral scent with some ginger. Lily of the Valley green musk molecule as well. And this one is inspired by the Amazon rainforest. So these fragrances are very hydrating on the skin. You can rub them in. They've got this sort of oily texture to them, um, which obviously you can rub into the skin. You can also apply them to your hair. They are very gentle on the skin. So they're great for anyone with sensitive skin. So then I made a quick stop in Christian Louboutin where I saw these amazing sneakers. I love this sparkly detail, which kind of just gives it a pop of razzmatazz. Um, really like those, but unfortunately they didn't have them in my size, so I couldn't try them on. I did, however, try on these um, spike black sneakers with suede and those spike details at the front. Very, very cool, but um, I'm not, quite sure about them but they were very comfortable so then we made a quick stop upstairs because i wanted to get the champagne truffles that i really like um, found them and then it was time to go home chocolate called what it's called butters butters this 
twig has got butter in it. Oh, pink champagne flavored chocolate truffles. Do you think that was good? Do you know which chocolate's going to be on a tribe? Well, we, when we go, we can definitely like treat ourselves. guys thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog of course please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, i do have more vlogs coming so stay tuned for those but until then i will see you in my next video take care guys